long run. Mohamed Fusseini, he goes down, but the advantage is still on. Can he get the cross in? Aite got his foot to it. And it's a goal kick. The referee has indicated that it will be a goal kick for Mediama. And Mohamed Gago is so shocked. <laughs> Just like the fans. And look at the way he reacts to that. But I was thinking, I was thinking he was going to wait for a corner kick. That was what I was thinking too. Of, of, of Irish to you. But he played advantage of Mediama. And uh, Real Tamale United, slowly but surely, they come out of their defensive shell again. This is Abdullah, good play by the youngster. He lays on the pass. Could this be the goal for Real Tamale United? Abdul Aziz, you see, he shot wide. I think he should have taken his time this time round to at least move the ball one, two before shooting. Okay, so uh, it's RTU nil, Mediama one. It's a bad result for RTU as it stands now. But there's some good results coming from the other centers. Kumasi Asante Kotoko are leading Arsenal by two goals to nil. And it's the Ugandan import, Joseph Ochaya, who's just got the second goal for the Porcupine Warriors. Elsewhere's break home, two hearts nil. And Wild Stars are still battling it out. It's a pulsating goalless drawn game so far against the Tema Youth. So Real Tumble United again, and this time it's headed out by Gottfried Roxon. They're throwing everything at their opponents. Elsewhere, Liberty 2, Adriana 0, Real Table United 0, Mediama 1, Brecum Chelsea 2, Hearts 0, All Stars 0, Tema Youth 0, Amidas 2, Heart of Lions 1, and Ash Gold 1, King Faisal 0. Corner kick swung in again. And uh, this time it's a goal kick. Ball came off the head of uh, one of the RTU players. On that occasion, it was uh, Sakara Salim, the gentleman who just came on. So we've done 30 minutes, and uh, we're into the last 15 minutes. Last 15 minutes, it could be anybody's game. The weather here in Tamale changing uh, gradually. And uh, 24 hours before this match, heavy, heavy downpour in the Tamale environs. We had bright sunlight this morning, but the weather has changed again. And it looks like the heavens might open up anytime soon. Meanwhile, it's Real Tamale United. The ball did cross the line. The ball did cross the line. And uh, it's interesting that uh, fans are now throwing bags of water onto the assistant referee. Gago actually acknowledged assistant one David Lai's uh, effort by saying that yes, the ball did cross the line. It's so obvious from the replay. Yeah, it was but the obvious. fans, why are the, the fans, fans behaving it like easy. this? It tells you the pressure and it tells you why they need a three maximum point. At least seen three, four games and no win. It tells you the adrenaline, the desire to see RTU win today is what is the supporters are looking forward to. And uh, well, we still have a few minutes uh, to go. So Abdullah's uh, cross goes uh, out. I thought that assistant uh, one David Lai's uh, decision was a very, very good decision. And you can see one of the cameramen of uh, Metro TV holding his back. One of the uh, bags of water thrown actually hit him right on the back. Somebody will say it's, it's part of the uh, uh, official duties. These are some of some of the things you get in, in terms of working. Well, the hazards of the job. The hazards, you if you it. ask me. <laughs> anyway, the game will continue. And out to you. I wouldn't say that they've not been trying. They've just not been lucky to get a goal as yet. I think this time now, luck is not really working on their side. Uh, looking at the chances they've created in terms of uh, getting the goal behind and they've created some decent chances but the ball is just refusing to go into the basket the cross comes in uh, from okran and otua champo safety header back to goalkeeper mozart ajete richmond in ketia now down the flank finds tanko mohammed he's onside and 
na Hana Njiwa. Hana Njiwa thought that he had won the ball. Throwing advantage to uh, Mediama. And it's a rich morning, Ketia. Long throw. Media must have the opportunities. Masaudu. Kabiru gets to the top of it. Clashed with the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper is down. Timely clearance. Out of danger zone by Richard Okran. But the goalkeeper went down before. And I think the referee had also blown his whistle. All right, so goalkeeper is down, and these fans are very, very worried. Long throw by Richmond in Ketia. Rich, and uh, Okran headed it down. It came to uh, Masaudu. Got in the cross. Goalkeeper came out. Now watch him clashing with uh, Kabiru Imoro. And at that stage, the referee had blown his whistle. Sefas will not try to continue play. That goal wouldn't have uh, stood in any case. It's really becoming tougher and tougher as the time, the clock tickles. And uh, one of the uh, cameramen, I think there was some, an object, a hard object in whatever was thrown. And the cameraman seems to be in some amount of uh, pain. Oh my word. He only came here to do his job. He's not an official of any of the two teams. But he's at the receiving end of the wrath of uh, the fans. And it looks like there's more chaos in the stands. More chaos in the stands. And I thought that with Real Tamale United's uh, return to the Premiership, of course, their fans, we understand that the first two matches uh, that they played at home, the fans behaved very well. Uh, we just can't fathom why the sudden change uh, in the fans. Lots of bags of water have been thrown onto the field. One of the cameramen of uh, Metro TV OMP has been hit by one of the uh, bags which apparently had a hard object in it. We can only hope and pray that it doesn't get worse. RTU wants to make a change and there you see him complaining to uh, the uh, match officials. Oh, these are not too good in terms of the size we're seeing here. And one of our dependable cameramen at the receiving end of those uh, bags of water that were thrown onto the field. Weather gradually changing here. RTU are looking to bring on Mohamed Sani. They're taking off uh, Abdullah Karim. Abdullah Karim is off. Mohamed Sani is on. And for Mediama, they might be bringing on some fresh limbs. Bismarck Asiedu has been warming up for some time. And he may make an entry before 90 minutes. Hananjiwa, he's decided to take things upon himself. He comes forward. Long pass to uh, the uh, far side. And uh, it's uh, Sakara who sends in the cross. The header out uh, from the Tanko Mohammed. He was impeded in mid -air. Referee gives him the advantage. And the right time for Bismarck Asiedu to come on for Mediama SC. Bismarck Asiedu is uh, coming on. And uh, the cameraman receives uh, some attention. Ace cameraman for Metro TV OMP will receive attention as Bismarck Asiedu comes on. Uh, 
So they're taking off uh, Kabiri Moro and he's been pushed off actually by one of the RTU players. And uh, while well, you heard it in the background, thunder and lightning. The heavens might open up anytime soon. And uh, Bismarck Asiedu is on for Mediama. We have just about seven minutes to the end of the match. Kabiru Moro has played his part. He's got the goal for Mediama so far. This is Tanko Mohamed. And RTU will recover. They send the ball forward through Richard Ajete. It comes to the near side and it's a battle for it. Meanwhile, the flag is up on the far side. The flag is up on the far side. Mediama trying so very hard to hold on to that slender 1-0 lead. And it's uh, Real Tamale United who are throwing everything, almost everything, at uh, their opponent. Ball goes out into touch. Tanko Mohamed couldn't get uh, his uh, foot to it. Throwing quickly affected. This is Hassan Mohamed. Good ball control by Sakara. Otu Echiampong gets his head to it and it's cleared out by Daniel Labi Kumsin. So far, so good for Mediama SE. They've held on to that lead. And uh, they're still holding on to it. Rich Mondinketia trying to find uh, Bismarck Asiedu. Ball goes out. It's a throwing advantage to uh, the visitors. And the heavens slowly but surely are opening up. The cross comes across the face of goal. Mediama, this would have been gone number two, and there it is. Mediama SC and his Masaudu who latches onto the ball. is goal number two for the visitors here at the Tamale Sports.